Good morning. No, it's super early. I'm not even awake yet. I still look like the Hot Mess Express, but I got a lot of comments on my hair yesterday, so I just wanted to just do a quick video showing y'all. I've already started curling it with the flat iron. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't had enough coffee. So I'm gonna start my braid, so I figured this is where I would start. I'm gonna do my braid a little bit thicker than yesterday, so I'm just gonna go down to about right here. Make sure it's straight. That's pretty good. So this is like a Dutch braid, which is an inside out braid. And then you're gonna do what's called pancaking it. And I don't have a ponytail in here, so. We're just going to try to pin this part back since I've already started curling it. And I don't think I'm going to get these pieces in, but let's get started. I'm going to spray some heat shield on the bottom of my hair because it's looking really damaged. Okay, so what you're going to do is just start with a thin piece, just like a French braid, Dutch braid, any of the braids. You're going to get your three pieces and on a French braid you're going to go over on a Dutch braid you're going to go under so I'm going to start here and go under and it's going to be harder to do on camera than it is just doing it super quick okay and then I'm going to start at the front and pull a super small piece into that one and he's going to go underneath this guy. Did that wrong. Hold up. Er. See, it's so hard to do on camera. So much easier to do when you're just like sitting at your desk. You're going to take three pieces. You're going to go under. Let me get my hair. It's too early. Three pieces. Under. Under. Okay, so they all just went under, right? And you're going to take a small piece from here to add to here. And every piece that you add is going to go under. So now I got this back piece and I'm going to take a small piece. Hopefully y'all can see all this and it's going to go into that piece. And then that is going to go under this makes it so much harder when you're trying to record it and just not do it live. <clears throat> so again, I'm just adding pieces, going under. So you're basically doing the Dutch braid. Um, I don't think it works the same with a French braid because you're going to pancake it at the end. And mine is super loose today. Oh geez, where was I? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna go under this one. This is not a good representation. Not at all. Next, pull a small piece from the front. It's gonna go under. Going to the top, pull a small piece, and I really ain't got time to do this tutorial this morning because it's pageant day, but since I got so many questions on it, I figured I would go ahead and do it. Okay, it's going to go under the middle one. We're just going to tighten all that. Next. Front piece, 
under. Uh oh. Okay. Small piece from the back. And it's going to go into this guy. him and you're just going to repeat the same thing all the way through add a piece go under try to keep it tight but you're going to loosen it at the end take a small piece from the back add it to that guy Mess up. He's going to go under. Oh shit. Oh, what did I do? Oh, okay, cool. But why is he going over and not under? He's going under. Oh lord, I messed up. Piece. This is like not the best hair tutorial. Should probably do this on a day whenever I have more time. from the back going under I feel like it's easier if I'm not looking because then I don't overanalyze it it's there it's under and then the last piece because I like to leave some of the bottom down so I could curl it so then you're just going to do the same thing and go under, under, pull, go away to the bottom. And I don't know how I'm feeling about that top part. It just looks wanky. Take a little elastic. take your elastic and take a piece of this hair and you're going to pull it. See how it adds some friction and you're going to start very low and carefully and just start very easily pulling out some pieces. Start from the outside so that they're bigger. Just do that all the way up. Then if you need some more slack, you just push it up some more. And there's no rhyme or reason. You want it to be messy. You want it to look crazy. This is the pancaking part of the braid. Where you're going to flatten it out. So you want to start on the outside to pull like the, the volume. Right here is where I messed up, so I have to be careful. It's getting there. I messed up right here on my braid, you can tell, but oh well, I don't care. I got time to fix it. I still gotta do my daughter's hair for the pageant, my makeup, go to the basketball game. And then do her hair and makeup. So we're just going to keep pulling pieces out. It's looking a little 
little different than yesterday because I just didn't have time this morning to get my braid right. But it'll have to do. Yeah, that part right there messed up big time, but Whatever, it's supposed to be messy. Whoa, that's real messy. So should we go back and forth through it and just pull pieces out to make it look messy, as big as you want them. I think I'm good with this. Looks a little weird right there, but we're going to tuck that back. So you're going to see it. Okay, so now I can take all this down. I've already started curling most of my hair. Um, I've got those back pieces already done. I got some questions on how if I used a wand or a curling iron. And I typically use both. But for most hairstyles lately, I will just go in with the straightener. And just hold and pull. And if it gives you the curls that are like too much that you don't like, you can always take your straightener back through them or brush them out. Okay, so this is the key part. See how these are sticking up back here? It's because I curled them backwards. So, what we're gonna do is start here, pull up and go back, and then roll, and then straighten. But we're also gonna tease. And that's where you're gonna get a lot of your volume also. And when I get to the end, I just kind of pull it straight. Just to kind of flatten out those frizzy pieces. Okay. So this is what you got. This is going to be tucked back. It's fine. I like to curl like lightly these little side baby hairs. And then I have a back comb. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to start like back at the back. I don't even know what the back looks like. Let me look. Nobody's sleeping. So this is the, like the back of the back. I'm going to take my back comb and just lightly back comb it and see how it just stands up on its own. I'm just going to take a few of these pieces and after you back comb them, you can um, recurl them or do whatever you want to do with them. Still gotta make breakfast, curl Sierra's hair, do my makeup, make sure we got all, all of our pageant stuff together. I did most of it last night, so I'm not the cooking breakfast and stuff. I didn't do that yet. We're just gonna continue to back comb. And yes, we're trying to have some pageant hair today. I'm going to a basketball game first, so I'm gonna look like a chode, all dressed up, but you know me, I don't fucking care, I don't care. So after you tease it or back comb it or whatever you want to call it, you can kind of brush over it so it doesn't look so wanky. And all 
this is gonna do is just give you all not volume on a bit. <clears throat> you can run your fingers through it and then after you back comb it, you can kind of comb it out. Find any pieces that you missed. I like to do them kind of forwards, backwards, no rhyme or reason. If you do it all one way, then it can look kind of weird or whatever, if that's how you like it. Feeling like I need some, some volume here. This just isn't cutting it for me today. It ain't gonna be this high, I promise. Okay, here comes the easy part. Tucking back your braid. Okay, so I use two bobby pins. I just pull it back. Put it through. And push backwards. Because you don't want your bobby pins sticking up. Because then it's just going to stick in your damn hair all day. It's going to pull up all your hers. I don't feel like that one's going to hold. right through the ponytail so I know it keeps it right there. Then you go flip your hair all back over. I am just I'm not in love with this today. What's the problem? What is the problem, sir? I already back combed you. You're trying to play with me. Okay. I'm just not loving this braid today. And this is what we're doing for Sierra's pageant hair, one on each side. It's just looking real wonky. I pulled too much out. Whatever. Let's see it back. That's it. <clears throat> That's where we back combed, and then you can just take pieces if you don't like them and give them more curl, give them less curl. Whatever your little heart desires. But I'm good with it. I like it. Let's go to this guy. I'm not going to hairspray it until after I get dressed and stuff, but I will post a picture for you guys. So for anybody who was wondering, this is the Pancake Dutch Braid with flat iron curls and a big old forehead. Y'all have a good day.